Pastor Paul McKenzie of the Good News International Church has hit the headlines throughout this week after it was discovered that actually some of the, the church members had lost their lives out of starvation. And finally, the President of the Republic of Kenya, His Excellency President William Samoy Ruto, has finally broken his silence concerning this matter. Hi, and welcome back to National TV KE. Make sure you watch this video to the end and remember to subscribe. President William Samoy Ruto has finally spoken concerning the Shakahola massacre, saying that those involved actually belong in jail. Speaking on Monday, President Ruto said people who are masquerading as religious people, yet what they do is contrary to the teachings and the beliefs of the religion, will face the law. He said, and I quote, what we are seeing in Kilifi Shakahola is akin to terrorism. There is no difference between Mr. Mackenzie who pretends and postures as a pastor when in fact he is a terrible criminal. Terrorists use religion to advance their heinous acts. People like Mackenzie are using religion to do the same thing. Let me say and uh, the avoidance of doubt that people like Mackenzie and all other terrorists and criminals do not belong to any religion. They belong to jail and that is where they should be. End of quote. He further said that he had instructed agencies to get, take up the matter and to get to the root cause of the activities of such people who want to use religion to advance an acceptable ideology in the Republic of Kenya. The controversial preacher Paul Mackenzie Tenge is in custody pending a court appearance. So far, police have exhumed 20 more bodies at the Shakahola Mackenzie's land, bringing the total to 67. Funny thing, persons rescued refused first aid and insisted to let them continue with their fast to death. Let me know what your thoughts are concerning this controversial pastor on the comment section.